Today we're going to be looking at how the length of wire affects the resistance faced by the current flowing through uh, the wire. So I'm going to be building this circuit here. As you can see we have uh, a battery, I'm going to be using a power pack instead. We have an ammeter to measure the current, we have a voltmeter over the wire to measure the voltage and then we have the wire itself and we're going to be changing the length of this wire. So my independent variable, what I'm changing is the length of the wire. And as you can see, I'm starting from 30 centimeters and going up in tens until I reach 100 centimeters. I need to measure the voltage. I need to measure the current. And then using these two values, I can work out the resistance because resistance is voltage divided by current. So here we have the circuit set up. I have the power pack, which is connected to this crocodile clip here which is attached to the wire at the zero centimeter mark on the ruler. I have the wire itself that's running along the top of the ruler. This is how I can tell the length of the wire. And then I have the second crocodile clip, which I can disconnect and move along the wire to change the length of the wire. Okay, I have the voltmeter that goes over the wire to measure the voltage. And I have the ammeter here, which will give me the current. So I'm going to turn on the circuit and I'm going to write down the voltage and current in my table. I'm only going to leave the circuit on for a short period of time because uh, the longer it's on, the higher the temperature of the wire will go and the temperature will affect the resistance. So to make my results more accurate, I'm only going to turn on the circuit for short periods of time. So I'm going to turn it on and as you can see, the voltage at 30 centimeters is 3.7 Five, and the current is 1.99. When I'm going to turn it off, I'm going to move the crocodile clip along the wire until we get to 40 centimeters, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Now we're going to calculate the resistance by dividing the voltage by the current. So the first one is 3.75 divided by 1.99, which equals 1.88. I'm only going to take it to one decimal place, so I'm going to use 1.9. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the rest. Now I'm going to plot my results on a graph. As you can see here along the x-axis, I have the length of wire in centimeters. And along the y-axis, I have the resistance in ohms. So 30 centimeters, the resistance is 1.9. And I'm gonna keep going. Now I'm going to join up the points using a ruler. So I'm going to draw the line of best fit. And as you can see, as the length of wire increases, the resistance increases. In fact, it's a straight line that goes to the origin zero. So this shows a directly proportional relationship. So as the length of wire increases, the resistance increases.